Hello, everybody. My name is Genevieve Milliken, and I'm the Data Services Librarian at the NYU Health Sciences Library. Welcome to our video on getting started with REDCap. If you're new to REDCap or have only used it in a limited capacity, you're absolutely in the right place. And today we'll be going over the REDCap interface, and I will show you how to create your first form from scratch. So what is REDCap? REDCap is actually an acronym that stands for Research Electronic Data Capture. It was developed in 2004 at Vanderbilt University, and it is a secure online database system designed to collect, capture, store, secure, and organize data, and it is used in a variety of clinical as well as medical library settings. So quite literally, REDCap is a web-based program for creating data collection instruments or forms, as well as surveys. And surveys are questionnaires that can be sent over email or posted online for others to fill out. As a note, if you're interested in creating and distributing surveys, we'll be covering that topic in a separate video. At NYU Langone Health, we actually have two instances of REDCap. We have Open REDCap, which only requires you to have an internet access um, to fill out a form. And we also have internal REDCap, which is only functional inside the NYU Langone firewall. Do keep in mind that both are HIPAA compliant and maintained by MCIT, but internal REDCap does have an extra layer of security. For today's demonstration, we will be using Open REDCap, which can be accessed at openredcap.nyumc.org. So to create a REDCap account, all you need to do is log in for the first time, and then you'll get an automatic verification email sent to your Lang Langone email address. Once that happens and you verify your email address, you'll then be able to log in and start creating projects. At any point, if you need to sponsor another individual for a Kerberos ID, you can do so by going to the MCIT service catalog in Inside Health and searching for access and termination request. From here, you can fill out a form and request a Kerberos ID on someone's behalf. So what are some of the reasons that we would want to use REDCap? So first and foremost, we can use it to create instruments and surveys online. And so really from a data collection standpoint, REDCap provides a convenient way to collect data, especially if you, if you are dealing with, say, multiple users, multiple collaborators, and multiple sites. If you've ever tried to collect data simply by using an Excel spreadsheet, um, which in fact is not HIPAA compliant, it really becomes very cumbersome quickly, messy, and full of inaccuracies. However, the REDCap online system allows for flexibility, it has layers of security, and it also allows us to create these rich projects. We can also finally control users and collaborators. And this is really helpful because we have more people that are securely working on a project. Our collaborators have to log in, which makes it less public than something like a Google, a Google Sheet or even a shared drive. It also allows you to finely tune who can make changes to a validated instrument. And you can make you can add collaborators and change user rights under the user rights section in REDCap, and that's something we'll be going over today. It is also HIPAA compliant and stored by MCI team, um, which, who keeps a log of any changes that were made to questions or records, which really contributes to its compliance to HIPAA and securing protected health information. It also keeps your data clean with data quality. So there are a variety of data quality tools that are built into REDCap, and we'll be going over a lot of these today. But just as a quick example, we can talk about date of birth. So there's a variety of ways that you can write a date. Um, you can write it day, month, year, year, day, month, what have you. Um, but within REDCap, we have validations such as date validations, which make things really clear on how we should be recording a certain piece of information. So lastly, REDCap um, allows us to export in a variety of formats. So REDCap in and of itself is a data collection tool, not necessarily a data analysis tool. 
So a lot of times we're going to want to pull our data out of REDCap into another um, software such as SVSS, R, or really the analysis tool of your choice. So REDCap allows us to export in a variety of formats. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video. And then in our next video, I'm gonna do a hands-on demonstration of the REDCap software.